South America. When you talk about marijuana, now, marijuana is a very sensitive system. Now, everybody, please, 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 please. Uh, you, you do not know that the public audience that we do not have applause signs. These people are at the, at the edge of their seat. Uh, uh, Jimmy, my director, if you could just have a, just show, show the audience real quick. Uh, you see what I'm trying to say? It is incredible that these, the, the people in, in, in South America before the Spanish, I don't even get on, on, on the, the, the word Spanish, okay, because that is where Hormel became up with spam, 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 you understand, what, you know what I'm getting at, okay. It, I know it makes no complete sense to you, but it really does, simply because I know the knowledge. It is in my brain. I know what I am talking about. It only makes sense to me because it's the truth. You don't know the truth. Only I have it. And the only reason I have it is because I know. And pine cones and marijuana, and homosexuality, and democracy, and democrats. I think we covered the democrat, homosexual. Now, the euro comes from the French word for fish. And that goes to another complete system that we're trying to get to. And when it comes to fish, there is nothing better than halibut. And halibut comes basically from the sphincter of the sea. Now, when you talk about the sphincter of the sea, no, it's not tuna. No, no, please, please, please. The, the tuna, and this is we're not talking the chicken of the sea, we're talking the sphincter of the sea. Now, the tuna, long known as the pine cone, Tuna, pine, two, pine, understand? You see the significance? Pine, two, tuna, pine cone, li marijuana, pot. It, it makes complete sense. And the people that are in the White House right now, as we speak, are probably eating groceries and probably are going to have a pine tree this December, inside their house. And you tell me what that means. Does that make any sense to you people? Does that make sense to you now? The people in the White House are going to be eating groceries, lactose, milk, understand? Milk is what? Grocery, you go to the grocery store. You know, what do you have to pay with your food taxes they want the taxes for the groceries for your, your simple needs they don't have simple stores called food stores do they no you can't go to a food store you have to go to a grocery store we talked about groceries earlier and it is so simple that i simply Oh, I'm out of time. It's in, it's incredible. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll be right back after this. I'm buddy fucking rock. I'm fucking pissed. You know, it came to my attention that uh, I've lost some games here recently. And, uh, well, it's some Democrats' fault. All they want to do is just control everything that I do. I got that 5-6-4-6 six, six defense, but no. If I have it, then they want to give it to everybody else. It's mine. I got to have it. But no, they just want to spread it around. Give it to everybody. Well, I am sick and tired of them abusing my constitutional rights to be a football coach. They just, 
are breaking me down. They come knocking on my door. Why the hell you ain't one? Why the hell you ain't one? Well, I'll tell you why I ain't one. I got people on my team who are Democrats. They just want to spread the responsibility. They don't want to take any, any responsibility for their action. You know why? Because they're Democrats. Big Papa, take care of all you. Take care of you, take care of you, take care of everybody. I'm sick and tired of it, and I'll tell you why. Because it's the Democrats that are trying to control our lives, tell us everything that we have to do, put it in a, in a nice little white sterile package, but no, you know what? I'm tired of it. I'm going to do what I think is right, and that's all there is to it. And you know what? I got a new scout that I got working in the colleges right now. Now, he's in a little trouble, but he's good. He knows, he knows football. He's been around football players a lot. He knows the business. He knows football <laughs> better than anybody. And he knows how to control them football players. So as soon as I get Mark fucking Furman here in town, then he's going to be my scout. Because he knows what's going on. He's a good man. I don't think he, I don't think he lied. He told the truth. And it don't matter if he lied or not. Because he's a good man. We got time for one more question for you tonight. And uh, here it is. Yeah, Lush. Um, I heard that you and uh, Jim Baker had an affair. Is that true? Or is that just some demagoguery coming out of your fat fucking ass? Did I have an affair with Jim Baker? The way I'm going to answer that is... A few years ago, I was a Democrat, and, well, that's pretty much, that's understood. So, anyways, that's all the time I have for tonight, and, uh, anyways, thank you all for coming here, and, uh, see you tomorrow night. Good night, everybody.